Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a ranked game on my second account. This one is going to be against Tanaka19, who is a silver spy. So I guess, I guess this can be like a little tutorial on how to beat um, lower level sil sil silver players. And just like, what, such as like some tips and tricks you can do and like board reading and such and bluffing. So yeah, let's get into this game. So we took that lieutenant with our captain. And then he's rushing down with the piece. He moved in on that, which makes me think it's nothing spectacular. Because when a piece moves in, like on multiple pieces, it's typically not something very good. Now, but that could be a major. I wouldn't be surprised, but typically that's probably like a scout or something. Yeah. So he's a scout trying, trying to find out what, what that lieutenant was. So I'm just going to like hit something, something with that sergeant and see what I get. What is that? So that's a colonel, so I'd, I'd, I'd take that information. For, for a sergeant, I'd take that. So I'm, I'm just going to hope that, that this guy thinks my colonel is a like a general or a marshal, so then, they, then I, I don't have to lose a captain for nothing. That would be preferable, but if they take it then, oh well, right? So yeah, here I'm bluffing that sergeant and getting that captain out. So I'm... I'm Making it look like the sergeant is guarding the lieutenant. It did come from behind the lake, so my, my opponent has reason to suspect it as a good piece. So yeah, that sergeant is going to be a, a, a good bluff for me, right, for me right now. See, I'm, see, I'm, I'm going to pin that pin the lieutenant. I might take it for info, but pro probably not, because typically ma mages guard it if it's over there. So it runs, it runs the sergeant to the bomb. That's fine, because bombs typically do, do, um, that bomb typically doesn't pick up anything before a miner comes in, but the bomb below it does uh, does often get lottoed. So I'm so I'm thinking since that since there's a lieutenant in the front, there's probably the other piece is a scout. These people typically don't don't have like lieutenant lieutenant or lieutenant captain in the front. So yeah, I might hit with my captain and then with my sergeant, but or or I could just hold so. It's a minor, then this guy shouldn't take it right now because that lieutenant is known that's next to the bomb. So that would not be very wise to take it with a minor. Yes, yeah, so he's gonna, gonna move in with the colonel first. I'm gonna go over to see, see if I can bait him. Well, okay, so he's not not afraid of that colonel's de defense. Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna hold here because if I would take it, then, then he would just discover m my double vertical. It's never that's never good. He's probably gonna just get discovered regardless, but if if not then I then, I, then at least I have a chance to save the bottom bomb. I'm just thinking of consider like I'm considering to of uh, moving that double vertical because it always gets hit hit with a minor. And it's like really annoying. See I go over there. He probably thinks that's like a really bad bluff, like, like a scout or something. So I think it's a minor it's a free piece though. Is lieutenant, so that's excellent because he took my um uh my lieutenant, so so I took his lieutenant, so that that that's nice. So yeah, I have regained my lieutenant lead. Now I'm just up a lieutenant and down a uh, scout, which is just totally fine. So he's right. So no, notice here, I'm trying to scout that piece behind it. He he realizes he's not 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 gonna let let, let that happen. So that's kind of unfortunate. So that makes me think the piece behind that um, colonel is the marshal because it's guarding a colonel and generals don't typically guard colonels. Also, I, I guess it could be the spy, but I don't know. I don't think so. So as you can see here, we've got him pinned at all fronts because if he decides to okay, so that was a captain. That's pretty. That's pretty interesting because lieutenant captain. You don't see that all every day. Um, I'm gonna hit up because I'm because because that will be up to lieutenants and I'm totally fine with. In case, yeah, so it looks like it is a major, so here I'm going to try, try that thing where you bring a major up between a captain and a major and hope that your opponent thinks, thinks it's a colonel and then gives, gives you the captain for free. And that That's actually surprisingly effective because if there's a colonel, they, they won't want to hit it and lose both. So it looks like I'm going to move in with that piece. That, that That's pretty interesting. Honestly, I have no idea what that could be. I'm thinking right now that it's the gen because he would guard plus two on that, but I don't know. So let's see what this guy this, this guy does here. 
Yes, it looks like he's pretty confident in the defense of those pieces. So right now I'm thinking in generals in the, in the center and guarding the um, major and the captain. That the marshal is behind that known colonel on the left. That's what I'm thinking right 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 now. And the um spy, it's probably got to be somewhere near, near the general. I don't know where. So um I, I don't move it up because then you can just go go over and get get my captain. So yeah, that's piece, that's the piece I was scared of, and wanted to scout. So looks like he's gonna move it. And that, that's interesting. So I have two scouts over there, so I could pr pressure that other piece into scouting it. So I'm gonna go left and see if I can scout it. Nope. Even though I do it in two square, it doesn't matter because I have a bomb over there. So I think if I were smart, I'd bring the yeah. So I'm gonna bring the other scout over. So I'm gonna find out what what that piece is sooner or later. I move up there because I'm confident that this guy won't want two pieces that can take out a colonel next to each other, or like on the same on the same side of the board. So that's a pretty pretty low chance. So at this point, I think this guy knows that the piece is gonna be scattered, and I'm like, why is he taking so long? Like that should be not a big deal because it's probably the general, the marshal, but I wouldn't like. Stress over that, like stress, stress that much about it being being revealed. So now I'm thinking it's the marshal or, or maybe even the spy, like some sort of strange bluff. But it could it could be the marshal. I don't want to take it taking my colonel. So, see, I'm just gonna bring um one of those scouts to the left, and then I have it because I have on two square and I have scouts in both both columns. So, I'm I'm gonna be scouting this piece. Can't 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 get away from that. I wonder why he's so scared, though. <laughs> it's the spy. I don't know why he would do that. Like, like, why why do you bring your spy out? What is the point of that? See, I don't, I don't, I don't understand that one bit. Oh my, and, and you find the marshal. That was, like, the most valuable scout ever. We got the spy, and we got the marshal. So, my marshal is coming right down the center. <laughs> To need quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, that was a very valuable scout. So as you can see here, against lower players, you can really use your scouts to your advantage. Typically, they won't have their spy like that. So yeah, there, I, I knew that, and that was a bluff because he, he moved near two two pieces. It was just p pretty obvious bluff. Yeah. So that was a. So yeah, the, the, that was really really nice on my part because I got like, I got the spy and I found like the best piece with a single scout see yeah, that was pretty cool so now my, my marshal is just going to get so much stuff but his marshal does come over for defense which is kind of unfortunate so i can get a captain i would prefer more but a captain's i guess better than nothing i can just hold because okay that was a not a great play because going down there allows me to just ram, ram into all these pieces because i know i believe those three in front of my, my marshal moved so yeah, a free sergeant. That can just station the marshal. Just, just kept it where it was. I'm pretty sure the piece in front of my marshal has moved. So yeah, I'm gonna hit that. Obviously, I, the gen's probably on that side, but I'm I'm fine with that. It's an, it's a captain. And captains are good to get. <laughs> See, I'm thinking that could be the gen, but I don't know why I don't. I don't know why. I didn't back off with that. Well, I guess my marshal was known. So, all he's going to get with the gen is a major and a scout, which is kind of a lot, but, you know. <laughs> see, we, we stopped this gen from lottoing, which is good. So, at this point, we're down a major, up a captain, up two lieutenants. So, uh, that's very good. If we get a scout, that's complete garbage. See, our marshal's not really getting much, but it's fine. I think the left of it moved as well. So, so from, from that mistake of moving the marshal... Um, like to threaten our marshal, we get two sergeants and, and a scout, which is very good. So yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Moves in, forces an exchange. I'm also fi fine with that. So yeah, see, even though I am that down a major, I'm up a captain, two lieutenants, and a scout, and of course the spy. So yeah, I, I don't want to exchange marshals because I do, of course, have the spy, and my opponent doesn't. So I think I might be able to make something happen with that. 
But yeah, even though I'm not a major, I'm, I'm up a ton of lower pieces, so I'm definitely winning this game because in the end game, one major cannot trap like, a ton of lower pieces. Like you, you need two majors to trap, or two of the highest rank pieces to trap. So at this point, I know that I need to need, need to be getting my colonels out because this guy has um, he's probably gonna bring out a colonel next. Also, I need to get that colonel on the left back. Yeah, because that colonel on the left is doing like very little for me. So I need I need to get it back. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I probably knew that move because uh, cause I had a strategic board in front of me, tracking moving pieces. <laughs> so I can fork here. I'm pretty sure both those moved. So exchanges colonels. That's pretty. That's to be expected. I mean, so yeah. So that's that. That's very nice pickup. See, so, yeah, that's what happens when you lose your spy. You get so much over instead of taking. It. Now, now I think I'm gonna scout that piece in the corner because you know, like if if it's a bomb, then. It's good info, and if, it, if not, then I get another moving piece. So he's got to scout my colonel. I'm totally fine with that, because it was pretty obvious. Okay, that, so that, that's pretty unfortunate. It was just a scout. But I'm fine with that, to be honest. Scout's my colonel. That was already very obvious, so I'm, I'm completely fine with that. So at this point, I need to bring my marshal back to the center. It's like, well, you know, I probably should... I, and second thought, I shouldn't have let him scout my colonel. I should have blocked it. Because it's better to have an unrevealed colonel, obviously. Even though it was relatively obvious, it could it could have just been a bluff. And I could have just ha just have him guessing. Because if you have, like, if you're in that, that scenario, you always want to just move, like, bluff pieces. And, and just, just keep them guessing on which piece is your colonel. Because that is very important to do. And then, like in this game, if it came down to the end, and, and then let's say my, my opponent was like up one of the higher piece, they would need to just um keep like bluffing that until they they um were able to use the high piece to get like an important piece in mind and maybe even up the game. So yeah, you never want to reveal a high piece even if it even if it seems obvious, unless it's like extremely obvious to the point where to the point where it doesn't make sense. So yeah, just a reminder, um, in the middle of the base is the marshal, like, like in between the legs, ch chasing my marshal and 3-3 three, three, three squaring it. And those two next to his marshal have both moved, I'm guessing, what, at least, no, not at least, but um, I'm guessing one, one of them is a colonel and probably, probably one's like a scout or something. So yeah, that's what, how the game stands right now. I have no clue where the spy is, I'm get, I mean, the, not the spy, the flag. I'm guessing it's somewhere in the center. I doubt that it's it's a triangle in the center. I highly doubt that because people don't typically put their flag in the center because the, the the top of the bomb, I mean like like the top bottom of the triangle can be scouted. So this I'm kind of I'm kind of pinning a lot of the setup here with, with my marshal, which is very good for me. So I have no idea what that is. I'm guessing that's the colonel. Yeah, so I'm guessing that's the colonel, but that, that could also completely be a bluff. Because that guy did bluff it with the spy, so that, that, that piece can move. I'm guessing that that's just bait, though. I'm like 90% sure that's bait. Because if I move, move the colonel out of the way, then... The opponent can, can escape with the pieces he's guarding with his marshal, and I, and I want to keep that, that marshal pinned. So yeah, I doubt that's the colonel. And this guy this guy um still has a major. I probably shouldn't have done that, but but then again, it did come from from, from the front row, so it's totally fine. So that kind of sucks. I was trying to scout the piece in front, and that, like directly in front of my captain. And yeah, so this guy's just making it difficult for me. I probably shouldn't have moved that scout right after he exchanged them because that makes it kind of obvious. So yeah, you, know, you never want to do that. I don't know why I want to scout that. Because I'm pretty sure that's not that's not the colonel. I'd be shocked if it is, but it could be. I'm going to be able to scout it. So, I don't know why this guy's playing too square. 
So yeah, I'm just going to let him hit it if he wants to. Because I can sky it whenever I want. I mean, I'm able to wait. So I'm staying on that, so that's very unfortunate. It was just a minor. But hey, it's it's so it's a, it's a piece. It's a piece. So I get that with my lieutenant. It's a nice pickup. So at this point, this guy is out of lieutenants, and you never want to be out of lieutenants because your opponent just makes it really obvious, like really, really obvious, what all your pieces are. Well, like it's pretty easy to guess what your pieces are because, like, I know the marshal. I suspect the colonel. I suspect. The, um, the other piece in the center is a major. Or maybe it's just a colonel that doesn't want, doesn't want to exchange, but as the marshal was guarding it, I'm guessing it's a major. Then they had two captains, but then it's just, it's just one sergeant and, and then minors. It's bad because my opponent has like very few mid-range pieces. Well, me, I have plenty of mid-range pieces. So what, once again, I pin, the, I pin my, my opponent's marshal. And you always want to do that, and I, I was able to do that for a colonel, but then he is pinning my marshal with a piece that might be the colonel, might not be. I actually don't don't even know. So he's moving down on those pieces. I want to make sure that he doesn't fork me, because yes, this is just never good. You, you know, you never want to get forked. So I think here I'm counting squares squares for my colonel because because I want I want to get that get that piece diagonal to it but I know that the marshals can just trap me. Yeah, I I should have gone left there. Uh, uh, no, I do go left. Never mind. And my opponent's like I don't want to lose a minor and get that, but I calculated the squares and I know I know, I know that I can get it. Wait, uh, no, I'm calculating the squares now actually. Yeah, so before you do it. Do a move, a move like that. This you always want to ca calculate the squares to make sure that you can get the piece and get out before I, before I, before you get trapped. I calculated it. I'm like, that I'm, I'm gonna be one move short. You're gonna trap me, and, and I'm not about to lose a colonel. So yeah, if you want, you can get the pause the video, go back, and you can see how I would have been trapped by one. By, um, I would have been one move short. See, so yeah, like. So if, if if I played too fast and made that mistake, I, w I would have just lost that colonel. And, yeah, and I, I've seen a lot of beginners make that mistake. They they just don't count squares. And in that type of scenario, it's very important to count squares because that can be a difference of like like if for me, I I almost took that. I didn't think of the consequences. See, it's very very important to count squares. So here I'm like, wait, the marshal's in the center. I can bring my my marshal to the left because this guy doesn't doesn't have a spy, and I think I can get a free piece. And again, every piece scouts. Um, every piece counts, even even if it's just just a scout. It's another piece off the board, and then and yeah, every every piece counts. Okay, I can't stress that enough. Lower players, they think that like only high high pieces are important, but but like two two sergeants be a lieutenant. Like a lieutenant cannot be two sergeants. Okay, that was an error with the marshal. That was a similar error to letting my marshal buy in the center. <laughs> because, it, yeah, like my, my colonel was trapped and my, my colonel's position wasn't great, but this guy just let me have a free piece because of that. So it was just a scout, but again, every piece helps. So I can trap whatever that thing is on the left with, with my colonel. I assume it's a colonel, but hey, if it's if it's anything else, then I get it. So it looks like it's a major in the center. I'm 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 perfectly happy with that info, giving that for for a minor. So I'm I'm not worried about my lieutenant at all because I can bring it back to my spy. I guess actually I am kind of worried about it because you can just take it with this major. I'm gonna trap that on the left. I hope it's okay. Okay. That was very interesting. That mar that marshal was known, so I'm not entirely sure why he just let me me do that. 
because that kernel, my kernel, it took a scout some, a, a little bit of time ago. So yeah, I, I, I don't know what that was. Yeah, that was just a very strange play on, on my opponent's part. So he's going to take my spy with his major. That's about what I expected he would do. So I need to bring my major back down for defense. Um, I think that lieutenant's gone because, yeah, that that's Marshall in the center. So, my, so that, that lieutenant's gone. That's a given. But but I'm fine with that, to be honest. Yeah, so there's nothing to thank you. I'm going to go major down just, just so I don't lose. So then I, if I force him to go up, and then I can kind of kind of trap his major. So he has to spend more more moves to get it free. So at this point, I'm let's see, I'm at, let's see, I'm, I'm I'm up a colonel, up a captain, up two lieutenants. So yeah, this game is going very well for me for me right now. So yeah, we, we know the marshal is um, two squares to the left of my major, and his major is diagonal to, to my major. And I don't believe any of his other pieces pieces have moved. So the flag, it's pretty hard to tell where it came from. I, it's probably on the left. It's probably bombed thin on on the left side, like in that triangle like area. But but it could also be bombed thin on the right side. So this is kind of an interesting situation because both spies are off the board. So I think here I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go over and, and try to exchange marshals because that would really help me as I'm like up a lot of material, like like a colonel, a captain, two lieutenants. So. so if I get the marshals off the board, this game would be very easy for me. And also, even if I if I trap the marshal, then it would also be easy. Use. But I I don't want to lose my flag trying to do that. So that piece, my opinion, my, my opponent shouldn't have moved that because it's it's gonna get taken. It's probably a captain, but I'm fine with that because I'm I'm up a ton of material. So that was so that um my opinion that wasn't a very good move from my opponent's end because they should have um. When you're down, you, you never want to like, like like go for a trade, but then again, my opponent really can't do much else, so I can kind of see wh why they did that. They're basically just kind of stalling for moves, because the marshal and the major they they can't really move them. Okay, so that's interesting. So they want to exchange meters. I'll let them do that. Actually, no, I, I'm gonna hit it. Yeah, so that was interesting. So now my opponent just has the marshal, and, and I'm and I'm just gonna trap it with my marshal if my opponent doesn't go right this turn. Okay, so I can trap the marshal. I don't for some reason. I'm not entirely sure. So that piece probably a minor because my lieutenant hasn't moved, so they probably think think it's a bomb at this point. So I hit it. It's a sergeant. That was pretty interesting, but it's it's good. It's another piece off the board. So at this point, my opponent has the marshal, which I know, a captain, and then some miners. And a scout. So yeah, this game basically basically wrapped up. I'm gonna see see if I can trap the miner. I mean the the marshal. My bad. Because that that would help me. That doesn't look like it. But if if, the, if he guys goes for my colonel at the marshal, uh, I'm totally fine with that. So I move up there because I want to get on the diagonal. Even though I do I can do three square. I just don't. It's it's easier to get on the diagonal. So. If you notice, I'm preparing for his martial attack by getting on the, on the diagonal with all of my pieces. And that's that's very important because you don't want to get in, in a situation where um, a higher piece can like can like fork two of your pieces. That was a waste of a waste of a scout in my opinion because that piece is pretty obviously not a bomb, but whatever. Yeah, so you always want, always want to get in the diagonal with all your pieces that are um, targets. Because, because as you can see here, the marshal I can't take my colonel or my captain because they're they're both on the on the diagonal. So I've kind of trapped the marshal with with my colonel, and I'm totally fine with that because I can hit whatever comes down with the center with it. And um, here I'm actually um okay with hitting whatever that that, that piece is with, with with my lieutenant to, to confirm that it's the captain because that's the, that's what i assume but that was interesting move with the marshal because they just let, let my let my um, colonel by i probably should be capitalizing on that and moving right right with my colonel to force the marshal into the corner so i assume the captain's on the, on the right so I'm, I'm just gonna like see what happens with that so you just let, let my colonel by. I should be trapping the piece with, with my colonel right now. I don't know. 
yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking here. Oh, m maybe I'm concerned concern about my flag, which is completely understandable. But I think I should have trapped that piece. Be well, on the, on, the, on the other hand, that piece in the center could could totally be a minor. So we found the last captain. So at this point, this game's gonna be, be, be pretty easy. He's probably gonna go for that minor. I'm totally fine with with letting him have that because that's so many moves he has to spend. I kind of figured you'd do that, but now I can bring my colonel over and trap that minor. Well, I, well, it's either, yeah, yeah. It has to be minor because we know the marshal and the captain. See, so I'm, I'm gonna trade trade marshals or like like like, th like th threaten him, kind of force a trade of marshals because of course that will benefit me as I'm up so much other material. So yeah, n now I can bring my colonel over and get that piece that is a minor. Even though, even though it's not revealed, it's, it's my, the only piece that, uh, that my opponent has left that's not known. Let like the marshal and the um, captain are known. So at this point, all I'm really concerned about is a minor um, coming down on the right side. But I think that's totally fine. Yeah, and as you can see, that that's why I come over w with my colonel. Because, yeah, yeah, here I'm, I'm kind of worried about, about a lotto because my opponent really does, doesn't have much to lose. And the colonel's a pretty uncommon bomb spot. So I know I can just run that minor up next to my um, colonel and he, and he won't be able to do anything about it. So the the flag m might be that triangle because that that's right now the only spot for a bomb and flag that, that my opponent has. So I'm just gonna check that. It's interesting here how my opponent is fighting till the end. Silver like low silver low silver players don't typically do that. They'll, they'll typically surrender if they realize the game is not winnable. So yeah, it's interesting that my opponent's still trying to win the game, even though it's next to impossible for them. Okay, so that piece is definitely a minor. So I'm just gonna come up with a minor and probably have to get the flag. He's going down maybe maybe for a lotto with the captain, which which makes me think that's the flag even more. I find a bomb there, so now it's pretty certain that it's the flag. And yes, it is. So, I hope, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you, if you did, then make sure to like and subscribe. And comment if you like want to see me do a specific video. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.